yeah Now baby girl, I can take you there uh-huh. Have a seat, take a couple shots, just relax. relax I take your clothes off, you take off mine Set the time and count the seconds till you reach your climax uh-huh. I get the whip cream Like, feelings people give me, like It's an emotion that has to like get you a certain place And make you feel a certain way in order to write About certain situations, so I was thinking about a bunch of old feelings I'd had for like, you know, just being in a relationship, like when relationships first start out. And like, sometimes you don't want them to go that far, but then there's others that you you kind of do. And then, that, I mean, that's basically where the song came from. It's just about having an emotion and acting on it or trying to like, let someone else see like what you're feeling and hoping they're feeling the same way. Honestly, I was just, that's just how I write. I write like, uh, I don't know, I write metaphorically and like with a bunch of prose. I don't know where the line, have you ever been to Candyland? Because like, that's just like one of those things. It's like, you're, when you, when you're like with someone or you're thinking about someone or you're in a, it's a metaphor to like, you know, to this side of, you know, I, I guess love. I don't hold anything back when I go into my music. Like musically, I don't hold anything back because it's like what I'm feeling, it's my emotion. The friendly aloof, like, you know, I'll speak to everyone, but I won't hang out with anyone. You know, that's just how I am, but when it comes to musically, that's, I mean, I've been writing since I was, like, a child, so it's always much easier for me to write my emotions and speak on them and, you know, to artistically, you know, you know, kind of reflect on my emotions. You know, PJ is a procrastinator, like, we get stuff done, like, uh, his sports ethic into music is so inspiring, and he... He really knows his stuff, like, like I've been wanting to do this since I was little, and like, you know, who would have thought, like, you know, my life decisions, you know, you know, I think they've been pretty good so far, it would take me here, and I'd still be doing what I love. PJ, he knows, he knows his crap, and that's just the kind of people I'm looking for to, like, work with me and stuff, like, somebody who's actually serious about it, who's not, like, all talk, and like, oh, yeah, 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 this, this, and that, you know, we actually get it done, like, you know, in due time, but it gets done. Well, PJ, he like gets really excited about like me hitting like, or me singing a certain way. Like that's just my voice. Like, and like I'll come up with like a lyric or a line. He'll be like, "Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I love it so much." And like that really excites me. It kind of motivates me to keep writing. And you know, because I never had the confidence in myself before this. I mean, so it's just one of those things. And like, there's lines sometimes. Or just, like sometimes I'll sing something a certain way and I won't like it because it doesn't sound cohesive to the rest of the, you know, song. And, it, and he's like, I want to keep it. It sounds good. And I'm just like, no. And we're always butting heads about that. And I, I just, I like, ultimately, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a fair, you know, little balance there. Like, because like I'll get my way sometimes and then I'll just let him have his way the other time because like he'll be right about it. It'll sound good, but I just. I have to nitpick everything. I'm really like super perfectionist and I'm just really hard on myself sometimes because I like, I know what I can do and I know my ability. So when I'm not there, I'm, like until I'm like, I'm sometimes I'm like 99% there, but if I'm not 100% there, then I just get upset. And I'm just like, no, scratch it, let's do it again. PJ's verse is like very, you know, I mean, I didn't, it's not that I didn't expect it or I did expect it. I was just kind of like, because I heard his previous stuff. Like, I knew it was going to that, you know, old hip-hop, you know, kind of vibe of, like, you know, playing off of my R&B vibe, R&B vibe and then going into his, you know, hip-hop vibe. And it was like, kind of, it was a perfect mesh together. Uh, yeah, so I wrote this, these songs, all these songs on the CD with like the truest amount of emotion that I could because I want to come into this new year just you know conquering all fields that's the title of the CD and it's like really going into the depths of my heart and soul of like just everything I think about love I'll be finished this CD will be done February 3rd you know I'm writing every day working really hard trying to get this done and Work it.